she floats, we hop on. Pick up the jerk bait. That's what was working last time we were at this pond, so we'll get this going. We're out here in the middle. From what my guess, it has to be about 10 to 15 feet at most, because it's not too big of a pond. And I'm gonna get this going. Oh, right, see, here's all the weeds. They just appear out of nowhere, and then you have to go back out to the deeper areas. Oh, I got one. That's like the third cast. Uh, I don't know if it's a pickerel or bass, but it feels pretty pretty decent. Oh, that's a massive pickerel. Yo, Mikey, get the net. Get the net. Get the net. <laughs> massive pickerel. I go, don't lose the rod, don't lose the rod. Oh, this thing's huge. All right, all right. <laughs> Within, what? Not even a minute of fishing? Not even a minute of fishing. Oh, that's a big old pickerel. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, this is a catastrophe for my jerk bait. That was the main worry is. Now we gotta get this slimy guy. Huge. Massive pickerel. Um, this thing is not as big actually as I thought he was, but he definitely put up a hell of a fight. I'm gonna get him back in. And just like that, first fish of the day. Within three or four casts, I think that was. We got a nice one. We got ourselves a nice little disaster too to work with. Yeah, I mean, good thing I put the net in the boat. Um, that was one hell of a fight from the pickerel. Got, got ourselves a little bit of a mess though. I didn't even get to do an intro yet. I was just casting while Mikey was tying on and the fish already ate, but I guess Welcome back to another video. We have, um, my buddy Bradley's got a drone, so he's gonna be trying to get some footage today with that for us. But the main goal today is this pond's loaded, it's private, and we have a whole bunch of fishing to do. I have this KBD um, suspending jerk bait. So I'm just ripping this thing around and it's just my go-to bait. No matter what time of the year it is, the fish just love it and pickerel are super aggressive. And in a pond like this that's not pressured, as long as the bite's good, we're going to catch a whole bunch today. You hooked up? Oh, it's a pickerel, huh? In the net, you think? Or you're just going to flip them in. <laughs> there you go. Second fish of the day, another pickerel. They're actually not bad sized pickerel. Stinking guy. Yeah, I mean, second fish of the day, throw that guy back in. There he goes. Yeah, so that's two pickerel so far. The target species is bass, but they just always eat the same things bass do, so it's always hard to not catch them. And we have to stay out in the middle to where it's the deepest to be able to use the baits we're using. But it's just so weedy everywhere else in this pond. So it's so hard to try and maneuver. So on this reel, if you can see in there, if it wants to focus, this little loop in the line is stuck in the actual button that you use. So my line's stuck in there. I don't know how it got in there, so I can't get it out. It makes no sense to me. I've never seen that. And you would think on such a fancy reel, it wouldn't do that. I got the line out, but I don't understand how it did that. That amazes me. Hopefully when I cast again, it doesn't do that. I don't even know where my jerk bait is. We drifted across the entire pond while I was trying to fix that. That's a weed or something. Or a 10 pounder. Yo, what is happening? I'm stuck. I'm, I don't know what the hell is happening, but. Yo, is my bait stuck on the motor? I'm disconnecting the battery. Disconnect the battery, first thing you do when you're gonna reach for the motor. The bait's nowhere to be found, but the line is tangled inside here, so that's not good at all. 
We got the motor going. I have it trimmed up so that way more water is flowing through it. And if more water is flowing through it, if there's any line in there, it's supposed to come out. I don't know where my jerk bait went, to be honest with you. It's probably at the bottom of the lake somewhere. But right now, we're running a wake on a 30 pound thrust trolling motor. The wake board behind this boat right now. Well, we have to grab a new jerk bait. The one I lost, I probably caught about 100 fish on that thing. So I'm a little upset about that. But I have one that's not the same exact color, but it's the same exact brand and same style. KVD jerk bait. Tie this thing back on and get to fishing. No, oh, that's, a that's a fish, yeah. I think it's a fish that was wrapped around something at first. I can't tell what it is. Oh, it's a LMV? No? What is that? It's a massive pickerel. Oh. <laughs> Dude, another another big pickerel. I'm just letting him run. I'm letting him run. They have sharp teeth. I don't still want him to cut the line. But I kind of don't want him to take my jerk bait. <laughs> Alright, once I get him, I'm just flipping him in. That's a big one. I just don't want him to. Not the net. Nah, come on, just don't. I just don't want to take my bait. Yo, that thing's pretty big. Come on, get it. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a big pickerel. A big Holy pick. cow. Alrighty, we got this is the third fish of the day. Another pickerel. This one's the biggest one of the day. Still haven't got that LMD, but this guy fought hard. I was just super concerned about him snapping my line, and he did right at the very end. But we'll get a release on him. Flop him on in. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Hooked up. I think it's the one that Mikey just lost. I don't know what. I don't know if that's a pickerel or not. This thing's got head shakes. I think it's a bass. Come on. Please be a bass. Oh, it's another pickerel. This is the fourth one of the... This is the fourth one of the day. The fourth pickerel of the day. We've yet to have caught a single bass. There he goes. Four pickerel and still no bass. But I'm happy that they're biting because pickerel are still, still fish and we're still catching them. Oh, wait, I got one. No! up again it's another pickerel <laughs> he's doing a little backflip we gotta flip this guy in there we go <laughs> we're on the phone with bradley we're about to pack up and what is this pickerel number five of the day it's crazy that's the only fish in here that wants to eat for some reason this bass is crappie but the pickerel is the only fish that's active today we'll get a release on this guy but pickerel are still a super fun fish to catch but they're super invasive and it ruins the fishing sometimes when you're trying to get a bass but you know what at this time of year it's better to get a bite than no bite there he goes all right it dropped from 66 degrees to 50 and i'm still in a t-shirt so it's starting to get a little chilly out sun's pretty much setting and i'm going to get a few more casts in. So, this one's the one that we're going to be using today because it's my cheaper drone. <laughs> uh, it's got propellers. This one is uh, one of my better drones. And if I feel confident enough, I'll probably take it out there. It goes about 100 miles an hour. That's crazy. 100 miles an hour. This one goes 100 miles an hour, too. No, you're kidding. Uh, this one flies for over 20 minutes. It's a long range drone. It's like one I take out for like two mile flights.